Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and this is the latest update from Ukraine. This iPhone saved the life of our soldier on the front line. You see, it's alloy probably. I have one of those uh, with me, iPhone 13. I bought it especially for the videos. I use this one mainly to film inside the cockpit of the aircraft, but I see that they are very robust, so I enjoy the Apple product. All right, Ukrainian soldiers finally went to Germany for the training to use those uh, anti-aircraft tanks that Germany gives to Ukraine. Awesome! The name of the tank is Gepard and we also have the Soviet-made Shilka tank, but I think the German one is more precise, more powerful and more modern. It's great that we'll have them in our army. Poland sends more tanks to Ukraine, around 200 of those we're gonna receive very very soon since Poland signed up the agreement to get those Abrams' tank for their army. So they they're gonna give us 232 of PT-91 Traudy tanks, which is the modification of T-72 tank, the most popular Soviet-made tank, and they're gonna replace them for Poland army with Abrams tank. As you know, we strike many of the Russian ammunition depots, and this is one of those uh, tremendous effective blasts on that one. Awesome, uh, here you can see the backup from the drone working together with artillery systems. Whether Heimer's artillery was used, I'm not really sure. Here you can see the ball of fire just going down. This is Antonov 12 of one of the Ukrainian airlines. It suffered the air crash in Greece. It was flying from Serbia to Bangladesh as far as I remember and it got uncontrolled fire and exploded while hitting then it hit uh, the ground so far we don't know what happened Antonov 12 is quite old airplane and here you can see uh, the flight line radar 24 the final destination is here if you look at the track uh, the airplane diverted to mid-air and descended and landed crash landed near to Kavala unfortunately all of the people on board lost their lives it is not a passenger airplane it's the cargo one a very old my grandpa used to fly one of uh, those during his military uh, career in soviet army and still we have many of the antonov 12s uh, flying around and eight years ago this day it was a tragic event in the skies of ukraine russian back separatists shut down malaysian airlines point triple seven on its scheduled flight from uh, Netherlands to Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Well, the international court works on the issue, but uh, the work is very slow, my friends, and so far no one was punished. But I just hope that those killers will be uh, punished by international prosecution. Right, today we got the information that Putin announced uh, the operation in Kharkiv area. Uh, he ordered to capture Kharkiv and together with uh, its oblast uh, with the forces that are available for Russia right now this is the suicide mission and should be a turning point for Russians because they will be just devastated in case they're gonna start it just right now well in two months if they regroup their forces they'll have enough weapons they'll put extra reinforcements they may try to do it more or less successful but for now no they they are gonna be devastated uh, there all right, our Minister of Defense said that till the end of this year there are going to be the global changes on the front line in favor of Ukraine. Well, we do expect the massive counterattack, then we'll have the full land lease uh, assistance from the United States, then we're going to receive many of the Hymerses, rocket artillery systems and M777s in the quality and quantity that is needed for successful and massive counterattack. For now, the situation is more or less balanced on the front lines and no one dares to attack. Well, as we may know, Putin put his order to attack again and maybe that is why we're gonna see some of the change in the front lines as well all right this guy was captured today he was the chief of the ukrainian fbi let's say in crimea before and he was uh, capture because he was a traitor and actually today Zelensky announced that management change in the prosecution of Ukraine and also Ukrainian FBI which we call SBU and actually Zelensky's uh, friend uh, was in charge of the Ukrainian FBI and now we'll see different managers there. Russia leaves my hometown Sevastopol just to remind you there is the main uh, Russian harbor for their navy and they moved it uh, most part of the ship 
trips to Novara Sisk because they are afraid that we're gonna get 300 km range uh, rocket, ballistic one for the HIMARS artillery system and we're gonna attack the Sevastopol Bay in that case. It's the military object, Sevastopol's uh, don't worry, uh, you will not be hurt. Alright, finally we have the more precise aiming equipment for our M777's artillery systems. It is there on the top of uh, the M777 and it converts it to the A2 version. With that aiming equipment, the precision of the shells increased dramatically and they are now GPS guided by that equipment. Awesome that we start to receive those M777's modification. Oh, we got those ATVs for our army. Well, awesome. They're very mobile, very reliable. And uh, just tomorrow, my friends are going to go home and going to send to army my motorcycle with a sidecar. Uh, it will not be used on the front lines, however, just for patrolling the border of uh, Ukraine. Awesome. Those guys need uh, that stuff. Yeah, Russia got scared about the possible Ukrainian attack on Crimea. And Dmitry Medvedev say that it will trigger the global war with NATO and Ukraine will suffer. Uh, guys, we don't have the other choice. We need to target military objects, military targets in Crimea because Russia uses that land to attack uh, Ukraine constantly. And I think that the Ukrainian army will have uh, the special tools. It will also cut the main supply lines uh, for Crimea. I'm speaking about the carriage bridge. Yeah, and ex-Russian president said that if that happens, uh, it's going to be the judgment day for everyone. This is not Ukraine, my friends, but Syria. As it was announced by Turkey government, they started their military operation on the north part of Syria. They want to take at least 30 kilometers to create the buffer area there. And they are attacking the government forces backed up by Russia, but by official Russia. And this is what they use, artillery systems, what kind of, I don't really know, my friends. All right, it seems like it was a joke, but many people signed the petition to president. Actually, we have the Catering the Great Monument in Odessa, and people decided to change it. But for what? And someone proposed to put the Billy Harrington uh, statue there. Uh, it's kind of funny, but people voted, and now the president should look for it officially because it got uh, the votes. Um, I, I'm sure that we're not gonna put Billy here, but you know, our society changes a little bit. What was not accepted in our ex-Soviet society, now, now it's acceptable, it's funny. However, Catering the Great Monument uh, should be removed and replaced. Obviously, uh, Odessa people would not support uh, Billy on the top there, but for me, I don't really care, my friends. I don't like Catering the Great because she was responsible for moving uh, Zaporizhia Kazakhs away from Ukraine, and finally she devastated the Ukraine culture connected to Zaporizhzhia siege and it's bad my friends so Russians were trying to destroy Ukraine for a very long time and Billy what he've done well nothing against Ukraine so probably a good replacement <laughs> this is American general Ben Hodges and he used to command United States uh, forces in Europe he stated that Ukraine may throw and drive away Russian forces away from its territories until 2023. So till the end of the year, we're gonna push Russians away till the 23rd of February this year. So they're gonna lose their territories. According to Ukrainian statistics, Russia lost around 100,000 soldiers dead and injured. And according to British one, they lost 50,000 soldiers. So twice less, but still this number is huge. China studies ending Australia coal ban on supply fear. They are afraid of sanctions. Uh, that Western world put on Russia and now China will struggle with the fuel prices so they need to get the coal to their land before they got most of their coal from Australia but Australia joined the Union against uh, China in China Sea because uh, China is really into taking Taiwan as a part of their territory and now China thinks uh, its policy obviously it's better to go to do business first and then politics all right guys and so now let's go 
to the military map to show you the change. Actually, there is no change, but let's speak about it anyway. Kharkiv area, everything is all right. However, as I told you, Putin announced the advancement of their attack to this area. Kharkiv region is kind of big. It's uh, this big. And I'm in great doubt that they will be able to capture it with the forces they have. They need to wait, I think, at least two years, uh, not two months, but two years for that to accumulate enough uh, forces or just to announce the mobilization in Russia. Or in that case, uh, Putin regime will will be suffer suffering the global resistance from its own uh, people. So Bagarajna is not under uh, Russian control anymore. Here in the south part from Izum, they still want to take Slavansk and Kramatorsk. Here also no change. They are far from Siversk, far from Bakhmut around uh, 7 kilometers from Siversk and 10 kilometers away from Bahamut. But if we go to the fire detection, it was massive shelling yesterday here near to Andreevka. I hope uh, we were not uh, hit very hard by Russian artillery. As you can see, they use it here in, and there and being under attack. However, we also fired to their places, even Alchevsk, and you can see fresh fires on the Russian controlled territory. The fire intensified and across the front lines and here as well. Some of them are natural fire spots. Here for example it's not at the front line far away from the front lines but here you can also spot some of the fires ongoing but mainly there are across the front lines as we know from the news uh, they put the group of their ships to Novorossiysk from Sevastopol and probably it's good way good move for Russians to save their fleet probably they know something because they prepared the carriage bridge uh, for the possible attack from Ukrainian side and I think that we already have this uh, three 100 kilometers range uh, rocket but we cannot use it for the political reasons i don't know for sure my friends but i think that we still have uh, that system already in ukraine well other than that everything is okay you sometimes ask me where am i well my friends i'm somewhere here in the central part of ukraine tomorrow i'm gonna go home I actually live here near to Kiev, not far away in Borispol city. Maybe I go to the places where Russians were again and I'm gonna see, visit those places. So these green areas, those were occupied by Russians uh, till the April and they were forced to leave uh, this, uh, those parts. I wasn't in Chernigov, but it's not far away really from my place so it will take me around three hours to get there by car or maybe even less my friends so expect a new content on my channel i'm gonna keep you updated about the situation here in ukraine if you like what i do press the like if you don't like what i do press dislike anyways there are some of the links in the video description how you can support me and my channel by the way my friends thank you so much today for supporting me on the live stream the internet connection was not great so i had to finish the live stream before than I expected and I wish you a peaceful sky wherever you are have a great time